So let's let's go back to presentation. What's the rest? We have the presentation. Okay, that means we already cover it. This is our what we try to do. So we have to be take the how we can take the necessary. We have to be managed all the dependency injections. How can we build with the, all the all the dependency? What independency you need for for connecting for getting the open street maps and adding your geo functionalities and do some some geo processing and geo tax so in, here is we got the one example like how can you build different geometries into the into the open street maps with the with the with the OSM, uh, OSM Android uh, APIs or SDK. That's the really most important open source library. And how can, how can you build a different geometries like 0.9 polygons and up? How can you build uh, some some pop-ups functionality or markup functionalities? This is all the things we, we will talk about later when you start the development every step by steps that's i said we will start really really very beginning level to the upper levels that, that everybody can really pick up what i mean how can you start how can you implement your functionalities your features what you need or what do you think that's that's the idea to do so you know the example like we try to build different geometries like point line polygons and and then and and then also the pop-ups and then after that when you get the basic idea how can you manipulate how can you control the your your different maps like open street maps and google maps and then how can you build the all the sort of geometries line point line polygons and then how can you navigate how can you start the implementing then the navigation how can you start the uh, implementing the application like geolocation or tracking the geo positions or places on uh, car navigation so other navigation application or how can you start the geo geo data visualization application that's why i said this is the generic or uh, how can standard approach how can start you all the application what sort of use cases but you need to be understand how can you start how can you integrate how can you there are all dependencies how can you all integrate all the apis how can you uh, uh, how how can you select your specific ide and they start the developments and deploy the and compile the development and deploy the app into the app store that's the intention so if it is the next screencast we are trying to prepare we already prepared the, the developments and also the some examples we are already here but in the time time shortage we are not started yet but in the next screencast will be the 55s and this is also the, still the same functionalities if you saw only difference between the between the two different libraries like map libraries like open street map libraries and google maps libraries that's the two different but that's why we try to ca really categorize those who work with the programming with the map or an android programming map related android programming with the open street map then they can go to the screencast number mm, the 54 and those who are in the programming or those who are started to learn and android programming with google maps api they can go with the 55 this is already we did have some some examples a demo application for navigation said so geo data is special visualizations all things also getting ready but for the time con constraint we didn't prepare the screencast or recording is not done but we will do in the future just you can subscribe the channel so you can get every update what we have what you need and what you can start the android or smart devices based programming doesn't matter it's just simply very simple android application or with the android applications with the with the geo functionalities with the maps it doesn't matter what type of maps where where is the maps programming where the use cases doesn't matter it's completely free but that's what you know that nowadays there is really important technology or concept the ideas the smart city smart health smart electricity or smart billing smart payments all things so it is all things you can handle or smart ideas intelligence traffic systems you can manage like this from the very simple app application you can control all the signal systems or you can control you the vehicles or automatic driving auto 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 driving the cars this to all the technology is coming the with the with the sensors with the smart smart devices android ios or other devices the all things is is like nowadays is running into the small devices 
the platforms so that's why we we try to waste our waste to give it to you how can you start the programming with the android or programming with the ios or with the programming with like uh, object objective c for the ios that's depending what type of but the general idea concept is still the same that we try to share with you so that's the presentation part that means those who are interested to build the android application with the map functionality with the open street map they can go this screen the the screencast number 54 then will be multicast screencast number those who are programming with the with the android plus open street map uh, the sorry google maps they can go to the 50 screencast number 55 and then that's the same functionality we try to cover from very beginning level to the upper levels that's the the presentations so that we finish the presentation and subscribe the channel write down your idea and then your concept we will try our best to share it with you our ideas and our concept how can you make those enterprise application complicated application with the geo and non-geo functionalities we try our best to share with you but you can put your ideas and concept into the, our channels let's have a talk how can you start the the, the developments the ide selections and developments that's we already talking about this once though we only partially did the discussion how can you start so basically uh, basically you can you can you can you can start with the 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 basically the most popular ide for the android development is and uh, android studio so you just simply download the android studio that's if i have enough time i will show you later one of the screencast how can you take the download the android and how can you set uh, java environmental settings and how can you set the gradle tools and into the into the into the android ide and then 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 start the development so we already did it but i said i will show you later one of the screencast very special in screencast installation process so when we we when opens you can build a one android applications like very simple applications like here you can see the opens uh, make android applications new projects and then have possibility new projects you see as a different selection template you have act no activity basic activity bottom activity empty activity normally you have the started with the empty activity uh, i started empty activity and then if the empty activity is, is is empty then we can full screen and then all sort of information this template uh, project is there from the from the android studio you can select one of them and then start with the the any 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 templates so normally they have the, the tablet and then os and tv that's i said the smart device that's i means so tv you have a tv templates you have a automotive template and android things and all things together this is like uh, phones and dev templates so we already did it that's i said i will show you later uh, one of the screencast how can you start how can you install the 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 android and then how can you install the java and how can you configure all things together and run the applications so let's talk about how i start this application so we prepare the applications and then if you are, have the prepared the application you see the the default application structure like that so project structure because it's an android studio and then you have a manifest file you have a java packet and then java packet containing the all the source created all the packages and the activity packages and then so on so forth and it has a default test packets you see the big test packet and then this is the and then example unit test cases and it has a java packet and the java packet has all the containing the informations and it has a resource packet and resource defining all the the GUI element, the XML file that you need, and they need to define. That's like this XML element here. So all the the UI designing, UI UI concepts. So I will. That's I said. I will show you later one of the another Spain cast. How can you set up those things together properly from very beginning level to the really practical levels? So it's just that here is introductions. The how can you install the android studio how can you inst uh, configure or install the java with android studio uh, android and then how can 
how can you get it the project structure like that way